One great idea. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Goodwill from cleaners, healthcare workers. Certainly had some patients who haven't been seen by a doctor for 30 years. Street survivors who can't believe strangers care this much. If I didn't find this place, I don't know where I'd be. 9pm in the belly of a Brisbane office tower. Men and women carrying everything they own check in. Guests are given toiletries, takeaway, donated by a restaurant. Tea, coffee? Or an appointment in a camping chair with dentists who've worked all day and now all night. Everyone is so grateful. A few people have said, oh, you can't help me, I've got no teeth. But then it's look after the gums. You've, you've still got a mouth that's got to be maintained. This is why they're here, a night of sleep without worry. I used to sleep down on the benches on the river walk. It's a lot safer, plus the, the food's delicious, so can't knock it. Bed down is the realisation of a little boy's dream. Norm McIlvray's father died on the streets. An empty car park was his epiphany. A big-hearted CEO with 600 car parks was his lucky break. They're people that, uh, just like you and I, um, they have families, they have homes, or they have had. When lawyers and accountants go home, bed down volunteers arrive. In one hour, they turn a car park into a pop-up homeless shelter for 15 people. The most that we've had to turn away so far has been up to nine people, which sort of breaks my heart, but um, it shows that the demand's going to be there. Guests are assessed by a social worker. Their trust had to be earned. Are the police going to be there? What is it you're going to ask us to do? And we belong and it's going to be safe. We don't have anybody in who is under the influence. We don't have anybody in that is going to cause any issues for the other guests. The pilot began 12 nights ago. It has changed at least one life. We've had one young man that decided after a week of sleeping all night, not being out there, he booked himself into rehab. Beth Pratt, a retired aged care nurse, has been here every night. Our other volunteers have come in that haven't seen them for a week are asking us, do you notice, can you see them? Yes. They're so appreciative, so nice, so kind. And sleeping so soundly, they're dreaming for the first time in years. And some of them sound like they've got a V8 under the hood in terms of the, the snoring sounds that we're hearing. We're absolutely positive and, and certain that this can be replicated in other cities. Car parks are just one asset that you know you would say are underutilised at night time. Nothing's going to stop me now to bring in bed down to as many people across Australia as possible. And the world. Bed down has a waiting list for volunteers. It needs funding, corporate sponsorship to make this pop-up permanent. These are the people, the corporations, the charities who got it this far. I think it should be right across the country. Darren will be back on the streets from Monday when the pilot ends. Erin Edwards, 7 News.